Welcome to part two of this Honda CR stock bike test. A comment here brought up a good point that I wasn't really staying in the optimal power range of the Honda CRF 300 when it when the bike is stock. Power curve goes down very steeply after 9000 rpm so I should probably be changing gear at 9000. So let's do this test again and see if that makes a huge difference or not. I'm gonna be posting this video if it makes a difference and maybe we get more stable results doing it this way. So let's try it again. Right, the second run was much more successful than the first one, so I will post an update. I got a lot more stability in the results, and I actually do notice it in my ass when I accelerate that after 9000 this stock engine is uh, out of puff and it slows down drastically. So it's better to change the gear at 9000 rather than 10,000 or 10,500 where the red line is. So. I got more stability out of these results and I did improve ever so slightly the best result that we got on the previous video. So definitely going forward I will check the power curve of each bike so I don't go near the red line if it's not really useful at all to do that. So at least with this stock CRF this was a better result and I will learn as I go along so hopefully the next episodes are gonna be more more scientific because I'm better at this <laughs> but I will post both of these episodes because we are learning as we go uh, you're learning as the audience member and I'm learning as I'm, I'm making these videos so if I just delete the first episode we're not gonna learn much from this so here's the update and I hope you enjoyed it oh yeah see you on the next videos <laughs>